Light field networks, neural scene representations with single evaluation rendering. Recently introduced 3D structured neural scene representations have led to significant advances in computer graphics and artificial intelligence, allowing for single shot novel view synthesis, differentiable reconstruction of 3D geometry for many images, and many other applications. Specifically, Implicit neural scene representations represent a scene via function phi from R3 to Rn, parameterized via a neural network, which takes in a 3D coordinate x and returns a representation of whatever is at that coordinate. Suppose we wish to render a scene represented by a 3D neural representation from a novel camera perspective. This involves computing the color viewed by every ray R seen by the camera. In current approaches, this is an expensive operation, requiring the sampling of hundreds of points along the ray, the evaluation of the implicit representation at those points, and the integration of the data produced by the implicit representation via an auxiliary algorithm. For volumetric rendering methods, which produce the highest quality images, because of the costly sampling, a single image can take more than 30 seconds to render. Since rays must be re-rendered many times during training, this makes the training process time and memory intensive as well. However, what we are really seeking during training and novel view synthesis is the information assigned to a ray rather than the information at a given point in 3D space. In the computer graphics literature, the function assigning to every ray in a scene its color is called the light field, which was proposed in the 90s as a method for image-based rendering. We introduce light field networks, or LFNs, a novel neural scene representation which directly parameterizes a 360-degree light field via a neural network. Light field networks take as input an oriented ray, represented by its Plucker coordinates, and directly return whatever is viewed by that ray. For light field networks, rendering a ray requires a single evaluation of the network, rather than hundreds as per 3D structured neural scene representations. By meta-learning a space of light field networks via a conditioning variable z, we show that LFNs can generalize across scenes and learn to output multi-view consistent light fields. Light field networks also encode geometry information about the underlying 3D scene via their derivatives, which can be efficiently accessed via automatic differentiation. We propose light field networks as an alternative 3D scene representation, which encodes both geometry and appearance of 3D scenes while allowing for single sample rendering of rays, which dramatically speeds up both rendering and training. Here we show a comparison between real-time rendering of an LFN and a volumetric rendering method, PixelNerf, which have both been trained on the ShapeNet dataset. The images on the right appear to be frozen because of a four-order of magnitude difference in rendering frame rate. Unlike methods which speed up volumetric rendering using discrete data structures like octrees and voxel grids, LFNs are capable of generalization and single-shot reconstruction, as we will show later in this video. LFNs also require 100 times less memory during forward and backward passes, allowing them to be trained on small GPUs. Here we show real-time renderings of LFNs which encode simple room scale scenes. LFNs are the first fully implicit neural scene representations that support rendering at real-time frame rates. In the following, we will discuss the parametrization of LFNs, the geometric information encoded in light fields, our meta-learning approach to resolving multi-view inconsistency, results on multi-shot and single-shot reconstruction, and finally, the current limitations of LFNs. First, we will discuss our parametrization of light fields. There are a variety of existing light field parametrizations, such as the two-plane, cylindrical, lumograph, and two-sphere parametrizations, all of which describe rays by their intersections with certain surfaces. Unfortunately, the two-plane and cylindrical parametrizations fail to capture the full 360-degree light field, while the lumograph is discontinuous and the two-sphere parametrization cannot represent unbounded scenes. This makes it difficult to use existing light field parametrizations in a complete replacement for a 3D scene representation. Now, to represent a 360-degree light field, one might describe a ray in terms of a point on the ray and its direction. Unfortunately, because the point can move along the ray, such coordinates are not unique. Plucker coordinates resolve this problem by parametrizing rays via their direction and their moment, the cross product of the point and the direction vectors. After normalization, these assign a unique coordinate to each ray and make it possible to represent all light rays without special cases. However, due to their high dimensionality, 
the plucker coordinates could not be utilized by previous approaches, which would rely on discrete sampled representations of light fields. Using plucker coordinates as the input to an implicit representation of the light field allows us to avoid these sampling difficulties and thus to represent complete 360 degree light fields of unbounded scenes with very little memory required. We now discuss how light fields encode the geometry of the underlying 3D scene. To get some intuition, consider this 3D scene and slice the scene along a plane containing a ray R which hits the scene at a point P. We can parameterize the rays in this plane by their intersections with two lines with coordinates s and t, respectively. If we plot in this coordinate system the colors seen by the rays, we get an epipolar plane image, which has many striking properties. The family of lines through a point p in the scene gives rise to a line in the epipolar image, and for Lambertian scenes, the color is constant along this line. Moreover, the depth of p corresponds to the slope of this epipolar line. In our work, we show that we can access the gradients of the epipolar images encoded in an LFN and thus efficiently extract sparse depth maps from an LFN encoding a scene. However, a general LFN has the capacity to represent light fields whose epipolar images do not have any of the structure of light fields of real scenes. For the randomly initialized LFN above, for example, there are no lines along which the color is constant because this represents a multi-view inconsistent light field which does not arise from a 3D scene. In the next section, we explain how we use meta-learning to avoid multi-view inconsistency and enable few-shot reconstruction. In our approach, we leverage the auto-decoder framework. Specifically, for each scene in our training set, we initialize a low-dimensional latent code which we use to condition the LFN. Here, we leverage a hypernetwork, a neural network that takes the latent code as input and predicts the weights of our LFN. In the forward pass, we use the LFN predicted by the hypernetwork from the latent code to render an estimate of the image of a scene. And in the backward pass, we backpropagate the loss into both the weights of the hypernetwork and into the latent code. To infer the latent code of a new scene, we initialize a new random latent code. The forward pass is identical, but in the backward pass, we freeze the weights of the hypernetwork and only update the latent code. In effect, we have learned a graphics forward model and are only looking for the set of latent variables that best describe the scene under the model. We will now empirically validate LFNs. First, we demonstrate that LFNs succeed in reconstruction 360-degree light fields from 2D image supervision only, and enable multi-view consistent novel view synthesis. On the left, we show uncurated samples of novel views of room environments, reconstructed from 30 observations each. Both objects and static scene elements are encoded in a multi-view consistent manner. On the right, we show uncurated samples of shape neck cars and chairs, reconstructed from 50 observations each. Reconstructions are almost perfectly multi-view consistent. Next, we demonstrate reconstruction of 360-degree light fields from only a single image observation, using the meta-learned prior. Here, we show a comparison of our model with the recently proposed differentiable volumetric renderer, as well as with scene representation networks. We generally outperform both approaches, with orders of magnitude fewer network evaluations and much faster rendering. As we show here, LFNs can capture view-dependent effects. We find that on classes where LFNs are outperformed by DVR, the auto-decoder framework often fails to infer the correct object class. LFNs fail in much the same way as scene representation networks. This suggests that amortized inference with a convolutional encoder could improve performance further. We show additional random samples in the multi-class single-shot reconstruction regime. Next, we benchmark LFNs with scene representation networks on single-shot, single-class reconstruction. On shape-neck cars, LFNs outperform SRNs, offering slightly more detail. On chairs, LFNs outperform SRNs in terms of SSIM, but perform slightly worse in terms of PSNR. Qualitatively, however, reconstructions are reasonable, though we find multi-view inconsistencies with objects far from the training distribution. Finally, 
we provide a comparison to the recently proposed pixel nerf, an exciting model that leverages local conditioning using convolutional features instead of a global latent code and enables stronger out of distribution generalization. A locally conditioned LFN that, like pixel nerf, exploits the shift equivariance of convolutional neural networks is an exciting avenue for future work. While pixel nerf is better at reconstructing out of distribution objects, LFN reconstructions are often less blurry. Finally, we move on to the current limitations of LFNs. First, LFNs, like traditional light fields, only represent one color per ray, making rendering views from cameras placed in between occluding objects challenging. Consider, for example, a ray R pointing at a pair of collinear spheres. The camera on the left sees the ray as blue, while the camera on the right sees the ray as yellow. In some sense, both colors should be assigned to this ray. If we say the ray is blue because that's what's seen from infinity, then we cannot immediately render a view from the second camera, even though the point seen by the camera is still encoded in the light field. Second, while meta-learning often automatically results in multi-view consistent LFNs, some LFNs fail to be multi-view consistent. There is a rich body of work describing multi-view consistency properties of light fields, and we expect that those ideas can be adapted to design efficient multi-view regularizers for LFNs. Finally, recently proposed local conditioning methods such as pixel nerf have achieved impressive results on few shot reconstruction tasks. While local conditioning methods solve a different problem by learning a prior over patches rather than over entire scenes, it is an exciting research question to develop an analog of local conditioning for light field networks. In summary, we proposed light field networks, the first fully implicit neural scene representation with real-time rendering, which represents 3D scenes by directly parametrizing their light fields.